Hi guys, it's Beth with The Local Lens. Today I'm bringing you our first on-camera interview with the very talented Justice Leak. You've seen him on The Walking Dead, AMC's series Turn, and most recently he just wrapped the Power series, which is uh, on the new PlayStation Network. You play a, a diverse range of characters. Diverse. So. <laughs> Someone would, might even say divergent. Well, Several moons ago, I met Justice Leak doing I Am the Bluebird. Yeah, now implanted. Now implanted. So what brought you to Atlanta? Uh, well, it was the once I finished up that senior year, I wanted to go to the closest, biggest market. <laughs> I'm so smart. <laughs> which was Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and at the time, it is not what it is today. Mm -hmm. In those days, I'd have to drive about six and a half hours to audition for like one line. Tell uh, me the first part you ever booked male student uh, on One Tree Hill. And I know, <laughs> fancy, right? So fancy that I threw a party when it was going to air, only to realize that my scene had been cut. So I've been scarred ever since. Uh, so <laughs> many perils of being a local actor. Oh my God! And so, but instead, I, I treated the guest of my home to a performance of my one line. Flash forward. You had this big run in Atlanta. That wave took you to LA. Mm -hmm. And now you're bi coastal. Uh, I, I am bi coastal and um, I, I, I love being bi. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's fantastic. You know, I, I feel extremely lucky that, um, that Atlanta has become, uh, you know, the hottest spot outside of California. Uh, because it has it has la allowed this sort of renaissance in my career. This market has allowed me to get back in the game and last year I was able to work more than I ever had before so it's kind of great. Between the two markets do you have a favorite? I love Los Angeles. Some people hate it because of the traffic. I have accepted the traffic and it's not a big deal to me <laughs> and I love being close to the beach and the mountains and, and, and everything that that city has to offer but I will say Atlanta does does feel more like home. Atlanta's a great town. I would have to say I really do love Atlanta. Atlanta, woohoo! Okay, moving on to last year. Yeah. Last year was a huge year for you. It was a big year. All right, talk yeah. to me about it. So it started with Halt and Catch Fire, uh, a small little role playing this nerd guy in the 80s. Thank you, AMC, mm -hmm. uh, for your patronage of Justice League Enterprises. <laughs> and then about a week and a half later, I booked Walking Dead, and while I was here, shooting Walking Dead. I actually did the table read and booked Selma and a few days later I actually booked Insurgent. So people when it rolls, it rolls. It does. It and rolls. when it doesn't, it don't. Can it spread out a little bit? Which is like heartbreaking to yeah. you as an actor. You know, you, you you go through these dry spells and 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 then for everything to happen at once and you have to have to turn down work, it's the worst. And then a few months later is uh, when I booked Powers and then I was here for about four and a half months and while I was here shooting Powers uh, is when I went up to Virginia and did Turn. Of all of your characters last year, first I want you to talk to me about that crazy guy on The Walking Dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he wasn't crazy to me and that, you know, Scott Gimble, uh, who you know, executive mm -hmm. producer, uh, he really encouraged us to play it as, you know, a couple of guys, this is their job. They're, they're not killing people, they're just sort of making donuts. In the post-apocalyptic world, I mean, who, who knows what we'd be willing to do sur to survive. And all of these parts, you came to Atlanta. Yeah. You were Detective Cutter in Powers. Yeah, yeah. Everything last year except for Halt and Catch Fire, uh, my characters have been pretty unlikable. And I don't know what that says about me. Yeah, when I auditioned for Detective Cutter for Powers, and I mean, this guy, he's just a dick. It's my callback with the director and, and, and executive producer. And after I finish, uh, the executive producer, he's like, huh, so you just you just are the guy. It's so much fun. I mean, I I feel like the luckiest person in the world when I get to do uh, what I do for a living. The hard part is is the not working. What is your favorite character you've played thus far? I think it might be Turn. Yeah. You know, the thing that just aired because it's the farthest from me probably that I've ever played in that 
It's a it's a guy from the 1700s. It's a, if you if you don't know Turn, it's about the Revolutionary War and you know, period more of a period. Yeah, yeah exactly. Series. It's it, well, it is a period series. Oh wait, it's a period it series. Is, absolutely, is a period series. <laughs> so everything was you know wardrobe and I'm in a wig. He's an Irish immigrant, so the even the the dialect was different. And um, you know he scalped people and got off on it, right? Mm. So uh, I had the most fun playing, I think that that character because it was such a vast departure from from who mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. Now well, you don't scalp people. You've never, uh, you've never not really done that. No, no. Oh, good. A little That's trim, good. but not full well, scalp. We know that Justice is not a serial killer uh, yeah. or a scalper. That you know of. Thank you. Cutter was fun on Powers because mm -hmm. I got to play him for four months yeah. and see him develop. See him develop, and then by the end of the show, and the creators of the show kind of gave me more free reign to, to yeah, to ad lib, to do some stuff, to to really uh, do whatever I felt that you know Cutter Cutter would have done, which most of the stuff that he would have done and said are fun because <laughs> it's stuff that Justice would never say. Talk to your face. Okay, real quick, we're gonna do before this interview is over, we're gonna do some rapid fire questions. Oh. Okay, ready? Got it. Um, I'm gonna pretend like we have a countdown clock. Okay. What's your favorite place to go to in Atlanta? Uh, Fat Mats. What would you rather be, superhero or villain? Ooh, villain. Yeah. What's your favorite? What would be your superpower if you had one? Uh, flying. I want to fly. Right. Who doesn't want to fly? But if you're a villain. We don't want justice flying, right? We need to fly. And then you can murder people. <laughs> and then I can murder them. Yeah, exactly. All right. Do your best zombie impression. Uh, oh, God. Is that right? It might have been Frankenstein. <laughs> no, it's Frankenstein. He didn't look dead, he looked confused. Okay, what's uh, your favorite actor you've worked with? Ooh, uh, favorite actor that I've worked with. This has to be favorite actor that I've worked with. Um, oh my God, this is so hard. I feel like it's really easy. Uh, Elizabeth Keener. Yeah! <laughs> That's good. Oh, whew, I'm sweating. I, I'm so. Um, um, boxers or briefs? Oh, boxer briefs. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Best dance move. You got one? Um, it it's the back roll. <laughs> yeah. Learned that in the junior high school. Thanks, Montgomery. What's your pet peeve? Ooh, rude people. Yeah. yeah especially if you're rude to like waiters or whatever, because just be one. Don't. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Drama or comedy? Ooh, dramedy. <laughs> <laughs> you cheater. Oh, I know. I'm a cheater. That's all right. One word to describe you. Uh. Fun. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm fine, right? Are you an early bird or a night owl? Ooh, night, night. One word of advice for those who want to be on the big screen. One phrase of advice. Yeah, sure, One phrase, word. A bit of advice is um, always be open to learning. One word to describe this interview. Awesome. Yeah. You heard it here, people. Mm -mm -mm. The local lens is dropping the papers, dropping the mic here with Justice League in Atlanta, Georgia. And we thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like us, share us, comment. You can follow us at The Local Lens. And check out our website, thelocallens.com. Thank you, Justice. You're very welcome, Beth. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Justice. Yes. <laughs> so you are. Don't make me mad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> <God>. <laughs>